Welcome. Today's practice is based on the values. And um, if you saw the video beforehand, you'd get an understanding of what values are. If not, values are movement of energy within the body. And each movement represents a certain function and a body area. So I would recommend that you bring two blocks and a blanket. I like to practice this in the evening. So it, um, towards the end, I just feel completely relaxed afterwards. It's not a very long practice, but um, I hope you will enjoy it. So bring your two blocks and we'll start out in a reclining position where we open up the chest area. So taking one block down here and the other one to support your head. If you like, prefer to have a block underneath the head, place one this way. Or if you're comfortable, then allow the head to drop back or rest on the floor. Feet can be in the butterfly position or bending the knees and letting the knees drop in. Open up the arms nice and wide here. And I'd like you to bring your attention just to your breath. So for now, just focusing on how you're breathing in and out. So in this back bend, we're working on Udana Vayu. We're opening up the chest, the throat area. And breathing in. So every breath is the Prana Vayu when you breathe in. Now if you remember from the video, I said the Prana Vayu was the booster. So for me, that's how I look at it. And I find this is the best way to open up the lungs and to breathe in. So spend about three breaths here, just noticing how the energy is moving in, out, through or into the arms. And so that becomes your Vyana Vayu, where you feel the flow or the energetic flow moving into the arms. Last breath here. And then just move the fingertips. Roll to one side, take your time. And then slowly transition to a seated position. Now notice how you feel in the head, light. So again, you're working both prana and udana by you. So find yourself seated on a block, resting the hands onto the knees. We'll begin the uh, box breath here. We'll inhale for a count of four, hold the inhale for four, exhale for four, and hold the exhale for four. So now we're working on prana by you. We're working on the breath work here. So take about five rounds. No rush, move at your own pace. We're slowly building it up. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Hold, four, three, two, 
one, exhale, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, and inhale, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, inhale, two rounds at your own pace. And when you've completed your rounds, pause there for a minute and notice how you feel more stable, more present. And then join the palms together. We'll open the session with a cleansing breath. Inhale. And exhale through the mouth. And then you'll come up or either stay seated on your block, change the cross of your leg, interlace the fingers. And as you inhale, press the palms away from you, rounding into the back. And straighten. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, one more round, hold it here, hold the breath. And exhale. Staying upright, shoulders lower, elbows bent. Draw the navel in slightly into towards the lower back. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, taking a twist. Okay. Inhale, taking the arms up. Exhale, twist. Two more rounds. Inhale. Last round. Inhale. Now release the hands. Exhale, take the twist. Pause here. Gazing to the back. And then coming back to the center, interlace the fingers again, take them up. And exhale. And release. Extend the arms forward here. Press the palms into the floor. And really root the sit bones into the ground. And then slowly you're going to come forward, uncrossing at the legs, coming into tabletop. Palms press into the ground, shin towards the earth. Navel draws in slightly here, neck in line with the spine. So you look at the short end of the mat, keep the lower back neutral, so neither arching or rounding into your lower back. We'll now focus the attention on the belly. So as you exhale, you want to draw 
your navel in. So take a nice deep breath. Exhale. Pull the navel in. So you're not breathing here. Release the navel and then take the breath. So, so it's a gentle work on the Uddiyana Bandha. Inhale. Exhale. Pull the navel in. Release the navel first, then take the breath. Okay. When you exhale, exhale through the mouth. So we go for another three rounds here. Inhale. Exhale. Draw the navel in. So you're pulling the navel in. You're not neither breathing on the in or the out. Release the navel and then take the breath. Two more rounds at your own pace. Last round. And release and sit back. Take a moment here and just notice how you feel in the belly. So now we're gonna combine the throat lock and the muladhara lock, okay? So Jalandhara, Uriyana and muladhara. Muladhara is that urge where you want to go um, and pee, but you're holding yourself, okay? So it is the perineum lock, and then the throat where the chin comes to the throat. You really want to press the chin into the throat. So we do three rounds at this. You'll inhale, exhale through the mouth, right? And then pull in the belly, the perineum, and the throat lock. Okay, I'm going to show it to you for one round. And then I breathe. Always release the lock first, all three locks before you release the breath. So we'll go for three rounds here at your own pace. Two more. <sighs> Last round. And then sit back and just notice how you feel energy-wise in terms of sensation in the belly and the throat. And then we come back into tabletop. So moving the blocks to one side, Inhale, draw that right knee in towards you. Really hug the knee in. Exhale, you're going to take it back. Gaze up, creating space in the throat. Inhale. And out. One more time. Inhale, hold it here. Tuck that chin. Exhale. Lift. And release. Opposite side. I'm going to show it to you on the other side. So inhale, exhale. And again, inhale, 
Really lock the chin towards the throat. Exhale. Two more rounds. Last round. Hold it here. And back. And release. Take the knees a little wider. Extend the arms out. And breathe here. And then inhale, coming back into tabletop, making your way into downward dog. Relaxing, softening the heels towards the ground. Head heavy. Soft bend in the elbows. Five deep breaths here. Belly draws in slightly towards the lower back. And then inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, relax the heels back down again. And then you walk your way forward to meet your hands. Coming into a forward fold, holding on to the elbows. Bend the knees nice and deep. Let the chest rest on the thighs here. And now slowly straighten both the legs as much as you can. And then releasing the arms. Soft bend in the knees as you take your time to roll up. And once in Tarasan, hold it here, breathe, pause. Feel the energy in the legs, in the arms. And then you're going to bring your block with you. Placing the block in between the thighs. Joining the palms together in front of the heart. Really root through the feet. Lift. So you want to really feel like you're lifting the energy upward. So hands can stay in prayer position or you can rest them by or on your hip. Choice is yours. Inhale, take the arms up. You're going to separate the palms. Exhale, come into Utkatasana, your chair. Shift the hip back so you should be able to see the toes. Really engage through the inner thighs, take the gaze in front. Holding it here for a couple of more breaths. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, you're going to lower the hips, extend the arms forward, coming into chair, Utkatasana. Core slightly engaged. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, close. So we're going to do this for two more rounds. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, Utkatasana. Each time, if you want, challenge yourself by going a little lower. Lift the chest. Exhale, forward fold. And 
Inhale, back into Uttatasan, chair pose. Inhale, straighten, exhale, close. So by now you should be able to feel heat, energy moving through the body. Last round, inhale, arms up, exhale. Sit nice and low. And forward bend. So your forward bend works the Samana and Apana while you're here. Inhale, Utkatasana. Inhale, straighten, exhale, close. So keeping the block where it is, we're going to go into a chair twist. So readjust the position. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, chair, twisting to your left. Fist in fist or palm in palm. Press the elbow into the knee. Really twist from the belly. So again, working upon and Samana Bayu here. Strong breath. Exhale, fold. Moving into the twist onto the opposite side. So into Utkatasan and to your right, twisting here. Engage the inner thigh, squeeze the block. Really use leverage, knee and elbow, twisting. Exhale, fold. Inhale into your full Utkatasana. Inhale up. Exhale, close. Last round. This time we're going to add an extension here or a variation. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, Utkatasana. Chair twist. You're going to yawn, open those arms. Exhale, fold. Prepare to move on to the other side. And I'm going to show you how we can do that with the block as well. So you bring the block to the side. If the fingers don't touch the ground. Palms together. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale. So flatten the block. Inhale, take that right arm up. Two more breaths. Exhale, release into your fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the side, coming up all the way to standing. Exhale, close. Release the block. And notice how you feel in the legs, the arms, the head and the breathing. So now you're working all the Vayanas. So the extremities, Apana, Samana, Udana, and of course Prana. Okay, so we're gonna come down to a seated position. Staying seated onto your sit bones. Take a nice deep breath through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. All right. 
Placing the block in between the thighs, working now, again, core strengthening, which is your Samana Vayu area. So the belly area. Arms extend out. Exhale. You're going to lean back. Remember, still drawing in the belly here. Lift the chest. Hold it. Now we're going to go back a little bit. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift a little bit. Four rounds. Very subtle movement. Last round. And lift. Release the block. Bring the feet into the butterfly. And soften here. Going up for another round, creating that heat in the belly. This time we lift the toes. You can hold on to the knees or extend the arms out. Five breaths here. Core is engaged. I can feel it. <laughs> Come on, keep it up with me. Squeeze the block. Almost there. And release. Change the cross of the leg or come into butterfly. Forward fold. Five breaths here. slowly roll up. Again, always pause, notice how you're feeling. So now we're going to move into a back bend and bring the blocks with you. Now, Udana Vayu works and opens up the chest, the throat area. Okay. Keep the blocks by the side of your feet, right? So like this. You can also put it onto the inside if you prefer that way, but I find that this really needs a very open shoulder. So for me, you can. I like to place it slightly outside. So moving into Ustrasen or Camel. Another option I would suggest for the first part of your camel is squeeze the block because that really engages the hip. Place the hands onto the lower back. Keep the chin tucked towards the throat. Inhale here. Exhale. Moving into your back bend. No need to take the head back yet. Keep the chin tucked towards the throat, so you're still engaging the lock here, the throat lock. Engage the thighs, press the front of your hips towards the front of the room. And exhale, release. Now, we'll go for the full camel. either with the block or you can tuck the toe. So we're gonna do both ways, actually. And then inhale, take the hands to the block, press, so rather than lean back here, you wanna press the hips forward. Lift the center of the chest of the heart towards the ceiling, keep the chin tucked. Only take the head back if you feel comfortable. That opens up the throat area. Engage the glutes. Bring the chin back. 
and come back. So stay upright. We're going to go for our last round. You can always come back to the same position that we did, or the very first position, or moving a little deeper into your camel. When you're ready, inhale. Inner thighs engage. Imagine squeezing that block. Press the hips forward, engage the glutes, tuck the chin, or gently drop the head back. Three breaths. Bring the chin, release, take a moment here. And then sit back and come into your child's pose. And then slowly making your way back up. You transition and now you come into Shavasana. So you come lying down. Separate the legs, take the arms away from the body. Starting from the head, just notice how you feel. Moving from the head to the neck, the chest. The arms, the fingertips, back through the chest, the abdomen, through the thighs, the lower legs and the feet. And then working your way back behind the legs, the back of the thighs, Lower back, mid back, upper back, neck, and the back of the head. And feel the energy moving through the extremities. Warmth. Pulsation. And Shavasana is where you connect all the values together to become whole, union, one. Allow the breath to be simple in nature. Staying present and alert with each and every sensation. <laughs> 